All Prince Quit, I got some things I like to see real quick. And then after this, we'll get on to the news report. Even though we already know that we are electric, electronic, or electrical beings by nature through the Creator, this guy, scientist, said at the interview that they use melanin to power up computer chips. You say what? Because of the electricity and melanin. Neuro melanated people. That's what we are. Light beings, electrical beings, electricity, energy are the carbon carbon that they want to use that they want to use and get rid of sick wicked diabolical people like them <laughs> they need to get gone but we they need to be gone they always try and get rid of us but see we're going to be used as the creators of battle axe oh remember i told you the moon Spaceship. Now, if the moon was in the spaceship, it would be in the same spot where it's supposed to be every time, right? Uh, well, guess what? It's not where it's supposed to be. Here we are on my front porch. I just walked out. I happened to notice. Here's your moon. The top of it lit. The bunny ears at the very top. Tycho Crater sitting happily at 3 o'clock where it never belongs, according to NASA. So let's see where it looks when it sets tonight in about 12 hours. See how hard that was? I took one look at it and I was like, hmm, okay, now we'll check back six, 12 hours from now. We'll document this tonight. This is for you, Lee, and you, Tard, and everybody else who wants to say, oh, the moon is normal. Well, number one, it's not already. By definition, Tycho Crater should never be past 6 o'clock. And there it is at 3. Northern Hemisphere, Colorado, February 2022. Mm -mm 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 they've been lying the whole time. Oh, oh, they've been lying about some more stuff I'm about to show you. <laughs> Okay, now let's do this one more time. I'm going to show you how this works. 
Uh, welcome to this channel. Take your time. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you're subscribed. Let me go real slow. I don't want to offend anybody's sense of uh, reality, but here you go. So what you got there is an image on the top. It looks like that, and then it looks like that. That's the Baltic Sea. That would be a solar flare that took place just yesterday. Okay, that's where the solar flare on your your sun, it, well, that's where NASA said it took place on the sun. But when you do the overlay, that location on their sun image. Holy shit, I almost forgot to show you this one. This was the next day. Now, the first one you guys are looking at right now, that's the sun flare that went off at the Baltic Sea. This is the same thing, but a different day. This would be today. I saw this this morning. So we can thank Ben Davidson for continuing to use NASA to give me more content and more opportunity to show you the reverse engineering of the computer-generated images they use you used to show you to illustrate what the sun which is actually the earth 67p is actually doing we flare from inside ourselves now look at that that's amazing i might just bring this one up and exclusively work on this image right here in this amazing video just for the next one now back to it <laughs> Baltic Sea. And you know, strange enough as it was, when you eliminate this picture, you see there's 67P, and that that happens to correlate with the topography. You can see the overlay as I overlay. The Baltic Sea actually fits right on 67P slash Earth right there. There it is. And the funniest thing is that I actually took 67P and I overlaid it on top of a solar flare image that I was captured off a video and you know the video that that i was watching is it's just ridiculous you know and the lie is ridiculous and i hate to tell this to everybody but i don't feel smart because i did this i just did the work to under unravel the whole thing and i spent enough time to do this so those with eyes that see can see and you'll just see this is another good example how the 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 sun image on NASA's uh, videos showing you solar flares. Every, all the YouTubers that are using this way of showing you solar flares are showing you so, the flares that come out of Earth. They're coming out of Earth. That's where your solar flares are. Just, just know that in your heart of hearts, okay? I'm not getting paid for this. I'm a demonetized channel and nobody sends any money to my, my PayPal, so... I do this over and over again for you folks because the truth is bigger than, than Maverick and Butterfly. You know, we're just trying to stick with it because that's reality. And I'm sorry if the ego of Ben Davidson, suspicious observer over there, gets his feelings hurt when everybody goes over there and says, Ben, did you know your, your videos are pushing the false narrative because Maverick's proving the fact that the sun is actually 67P Earth inside. They're, they've got everything inverted and their CGI is how it's working. But I'm reversing the CGI and showing there's the Baltic Sea with a solar flare from their imaging, from their, from their imaging overlaid on the topography of 67P so we know it's right there doing the thing. There's several facts here in this video. I hope you guys get it. Have a good one. Y'all come stop lying now. <laughs> I discovered the eight immortal. The lies all unraveling. The lies falling apart. The lies going to shit. They ain't working. What else we see now? Something strange going on.
This powerful $99 drone is now available in the U.S. This is an extremely high-tech...
occur, y'all. Besides the fact they lie, let's get to the news now. It's capable of. 2022, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. Before I... If you give him all this Mr. J stuff, he don't know no better. This is, this is here for the newscast, and that's it. So Sorry, guys, give this video a big thumbs up and share this video. We got some breaking news updates when it comes to rumors of wars. Now, it says here, final line. There's cruise missiles, barrage coming. All right, so these are very powerful stuff. We're talking about the Iskander, and we are talking about some other stuff that the bear has warned that they will bring in. Uh, these are basically EMP stuff. Uh, we are talking about lights out. And um, I do believe the bear has something more powerful if Europe decides to come in. And um, we don't want to see any WW3, but uh, there is a lot of uh, missiles already pointed. And um, the bear already has everything set up. So that's what it is. The final line means that the bear already is prepared to come in and they have all this stuff ready. Uh, this land right here, airspace, is closed. The bear and Belarusian entry ban in a country. So we have all the information. We have all the updates. And by the way, guys, I think I might throw this one in. The sleeping giant came and spoke about the incident that took place yesterday. We're talking about the submarine. Give me a second here. Let me just fix this really quick. There we go. So the Sleepy Giant responds to claim of submarine in the bare water. Now, I, talk, uh, I talked about this one here uh, yesterday, and that video is almost at 10,000 views. Thank you so much for sharing the video, guys. Um, so... The Sleeping Giant is very concerned when it comes to this one here. And I talked about um, the bear and the training when it comes to submarine hypersonic stuff. And they have all these type of missiles that, uh, that could reach the Sleeping Giant. It could reach California. It could reach uh, certain parts on the West Coast. So we're going to do this one here. And also, guys, I will throw in this one, which uh, give me a second. So, th uh, so there's going to be two articles in this video. Then I will enjoy my Sunday, take the kids out to the farm, pick out some eggs and feed some chicken because that's what we do every weekend. The wife always want to go to the farm and Goodwill. <laughs> but I love it. It's, it's spending time with your loved ones. And again, pray guys that, you know, things goes well between these nations. But uh, last night, uh, there was a lot of stuff that took place. So uh, we need to pray for many people. We do. We need to pray for a lot of people. So we you know it's getting crazy with that war. It's all progressing, y'all. Dear listeners, welcome to the Deep Journal channel. By subscribing to our channel, you can be informed about detailed reports every time. While the tension in Europe is at the highest levels, mutually harsh moves are coming one after another. While the situation in Europe is getting hotter, yesterday, US President Joe Biden and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson stated that Russia could invade Ukraine at any time. The US, UK and even South Korea were then ordered to evacuate their citizens from Ukraine within 48 hours. This sharpened the non-dangerous panic atmosphere in Europe and Ukraine. However, the United States has firmly stated that it will not enter Ukraine and will not evacuate citizens in case of a possible invasion. While the troops stationed on the Ukrainian border are increasing day by day, a total of more than 136,000 Russian troops are currently deployed, with more than 115,000 ground forces. This represents an increase of about 6,000 ground troops compared to last week. After the U.S. shipments to Eastern Europe, this 6,000 troops increase in the Russian army may mean that Putin is sending a new force to the region in response to every move of the U.S. The United States sent 2,000 troops to the Polish border last week, and 1,000 troops stationed in Germany via Romania to the Ukrainian border. At the same time, the 6,000 increase in troops in the Russian army also paved the way for a Russian invasion and 8,500 U.S. troops on standby to be deployed should the North Atlantic Alliance make any demands. In response, 
The U.S. immediately sent another 3,000 troops to the Polish border, and F-15E fighters are also being sent to Poland. The U.S. deployment of troops to defend the eastern flank of the North Atlantic Alliance came yesterday after President Joe Biden's announcement of a possible invasion and the sharing of new satellite images of the Russian-Ukrainian border. Yesterday, while CNN was interviewing the Ukrainian army in its broadcast from the Donbass region, the sound of gunshots from a few kilometers away shows how critical the situation is. New satellite images released by a U.S.-based technology company appear to show continuing Russian military buildup in Crimea, western Russia and Belarus, as pressure continues to mount on Ukraine from three directions, underscoring fears that the Kremlin is planning an incursion into Ukrainian territory. In Crimea, a large deployment of troops and equipment was observed by Maxar in images collected Thursday, according to Stephen Wood, a senior director at the company. The deployment is at the formerly disused Oktyabrskoy airfield, north of the Crimean capital Simferopol. Maxar assesses that more than 550 troop tents and hundreds of vehicles have arrived at the site. Other sites... So you know it's going to get crazy, it's getting crazy. China got some other stuff too. So just know things are progressing. Peace and love.